We built an Amazon advertising tool that creates campaigns in seconds instead of hours. And you can use it free right now. This tool will help you to launch hundreds of campaigns in your Amazon ads account. Let me show you quickly how it looks like. You will see this page. You can quickly click here the template and let's say that we want to create these 10 campaigns. So here we have some automatic, some product targeting, keyword campaigns. What I can do, I can click here, download, JSV file, come back here, put it here. Now I can see a quick preview of these campaigns. Click generate SP by file. And voila, I have my bike file ready to upload in the advertising console. So here it's very easy. It's very simple to use. And now we'll go more in details on how you can leverage this tool. And if you want to test it, there is a link in the description to get access to this tool. Before starting, who am I? I'm Stefan Pretto. I'm the CEO at Nomads. We manage over $10 million in Amazon ad spend on a monthly basis for our clients. And we build this tool uh, mainly to help uh, us and our clients in our coaching program to help them to be more efficient and to spend less time in this uh, manual work. And if you want to get access to me and my team, feel free to join our school community. Only Amazon sellers making at least $1 million a year can join. So feel free to click in the links in the description and there will be also a possibility to apply to join our school community. And now let me go a bit more in details to explain you how to leverage as much as possible this tool and how to launch campaigns as quickly as possible. So first of all, you will land in this page. You will need to quickly sign up. Maybe the layout could change since I'm recording this video at the end of June. So maybe this video will be out uh, in the middle of uh, July. And if you go here, continue with Google, you can uh, enter with your email or with your Google account and you will land in this page. So this is our main page and you can download the two main files. You can download an Excel file, so download the sample template that you need to change, or you can use Google Sheets. So I prefer to use Google Sheets, to be honest. And uh, what you want to do here, you want to create a copy. So you go here, make a copy. You can call it whatever you want. Let's call it test, make a copy. And uh, what you will see here, there are three main tabs. So copyright, a templates, and campaign outline. What you will need to use the most is the campaign outline. So let's say that uh, we put on hold all these campaigns. Let me do it like this. Okay, so and you will set here, this is empty. Okay, and uh, let's uh, focus on creating, for example, one campaign. So I go here, I put on hold, let's say it's a key or targeting campaign. I do not edit this column, so I will not change this column. And let's say I target the blue shoes. So this is the, key, the keyword I want to target. And uh, I don't want to get clicks on a red keyword, so I will put red under negative phrases. And I don't want to get clicks on a woman. woman. Let's say so negative phrase will be red, negative except will be one. The product name is uh, uh, blue shoes and the theme of this keyword is uh, blue. If you click here, you can see how we usually name our campaigns and uh, all our naming system that you could find useful. And after match inside match types, let's say that I want to use a phrase match. So I will use this as a SP phrase or sponsor product phrase match. And now I need to find the parenthesis. So the parenthesis, we always like to put the parenthesis in the title. So let's say that this is um, the name of the parenthesis. You can quickly find the parenthesis in the business report. I do not need to change this one, so I will not touch this. And these are my blue shoes easing that I want to use inside my ad groups. So as a, as a ads, so let's say that these are the same and these are the SKUs. So I will add here the easing and the SKUs and I will quickly see the campaign name, the ad group name. And here I can quickly see what is the default bid and the budget. And this is I can change them. So this is what the campaign name will look like. This is what the ad group name will look like. And after we will have the default bid and budget. So here you can change this, for example, to 50. So you can have a budget of $50 for this campaign and you can put the bid as a 1.51. We've made other videos in our channels on how to select the default bid and the budget. And you can also put uh, the top of search uh, bid adjustments RSO search and product page if you want to. And then you can also put the portfolio IDs and creatives. So this is everything is optional. You don't need to add it. So let's say that I want to create only this campaign. So I put here, I select create and you will set uh, we have uh, the campaign here. So we have this campaign and uh, you, you can do the same and create another row and create other campaigns. So what you can do now, you can go here under file, download, chase the file. You can come back here and you can upload it here and you can see that you will have a preview on what's inside the file. So you can see it's only one uh, uh, keyword targeting campaign, one ad group, three SKUs, and one keyword target. Here you have a preview. So this is the default bid, budget, and so on. Product ads, targets, and so on. You can also see that we have a negative phrase red, negative exact women. And uh, here I can quickly click generate SP back file. I open this and voila, 
I can see the bulk file ready to go. So I didn't need to open any Excel file and I can create hundreds of these. So I can see that we added in negative exact woman, in negative phrase uh, red, blue shoes in phrase match. It's a 151, $50 budget. So everything looks good. So I can take this and upload it in my advertising console. And if I want to start over, easy start over. I come back to my test, I go here. So this is done and uh, I just need to create all the others one and I can go and put it here, download it again, upload it, easy. So this saved us a lot of time. So I really hope this tool will be useful and thank you for watching the video. Feel free to join our school community if you want. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.